Welcome back to the channel. I am in Wisconsin right now. I'm driving my rollback tow truck to pick up my new tow truck. This, of course, is not just any wrecker, but it is a vintage wrecker, and it's also an off-road wrecker. This vehicle takes off two boxes for me. I've always wanted an M37, and I've always wanted a sling-type vintage tow truck. This vehicle is both of those things in one. I have about two more hours left to go, so I'll see you then. I have about 20 minutes left to go. I don't know if you can tell, but it is snowing now. It's about 20 degrees Fahrenheit outside. I just want to get the truck loaded and start heading home. This must be the place. Well, there it is. I am loaded up and ready to go. My rollback is four wheel drive, so it actually has six wheel drive because of the duels in the back. But obviously this is going to be a lot more capable. I've got the truck loaded, but it looks like a snowstorm has moved in. So this is going to be a lot longer trip back home. That's my last fuel stop of the day. It is very windy. It's miserable out here, but this truck looks awesome. It looks amazing up there. I can't wait to get home. I've got it unloaded now. It doesn't look as small compared to the LMTV as I thought it would. This has 37 inch tall tires. The LMTV has 47 inch tall tires. But from this angle, they don't look as much bigger as I thought they would. Let's get it inside. For those who don't know what this is, this is a Dodge M37. This uses a 230 cubic inch L head engine. This one does retain its original drivetrain. These engines made 78 brake horsepower, but at a lower top speed and off-road, you don't need much more than that. These trucks are very rugged and extremely overbuilt. And that's why you would quite often see these being used in rural areas. This particular one was used by the Wyoming State Forestry Division. 
Adapter plates have been put on so that the tires and wheels from a Humvee can be used. These are BF Goodrich Baja TAs. And these are a two-piece wheel, so you don't need a tire machine to change these. If you popped a tire on the trail and you wanted to change just the tire, you can easily take the wheel apart and set the new tire on. You will see a lot of these trucks as soft tops, but this one has the optional fiberglass hard top. Oh no, I just noticed that my roof light didn't survive the trip. The lens must have fallen off at some point. Looks like the red one on the front made it, but I'm hoping they still make lenses for this lamp. Coming around the back, this truck has a Nomar Wrecker setup. This is very common for these vehicles. In fact, the Army did have a variant of the M37 that had a Wrecker, but the body back here was completely different. And you can tell that this setup is made for civilian vehicles because this drawbar is mounted down here. On the military variant, the drawbar would have been mounted up here because it was towing vehicles with a much higher ground clearance. The thing that makes these sling trucks so neat compared to the tow trucks that came before it, if you only have a hook up there, there's nothing to keep the vehicle that you're towing from slamming into the back of your truck. Having someone just hold the brakes in the vehicle that you're towing is kind of a silly thing to do. Instead, on these setups, this draw bar down here does the main lifting and these rubber straps cradle the front of the car and keep it from going any further forward. I lowered the boom so it wouldn't be as tall on my rollback, so I need to lift this back up in a more upright position. This wrecker setup uses an electric Ramsey winch of the control right here. Go in and out. There is a kill switch in the cab that cuts all power to the winch when you're not using it. So right now I need to raise the boom up with the cable so that I can loosen these chains to reposition it. Obviously this wrecker setup has been neglected for a long time, but everything is there and this is a great starting point. There's a lot of work that I can do to this truck to improve it, but the first thing I want to do is take it off-road exactly how it is now, and that's what we'll do next time. So if you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.